What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you're going to be watching some 10v10 gameplay on Estate. Um, this is some rare gameplay, rare footage. I also do get hit by quite a bit of pack or packet burst, uh, but I say it's rare footage because I haven't played 10v10. It's like the old footage, I guess. I've been on my camo grind. I've been uh, very very into it uh this is probably going to be this is definitely going to be the fastest i've unlocked a master camo um pretty much got everything done i, I pretty much got everything leveled up except for a few snipers i'm probably gonna wait till season one drops to get the new weapons and i'm just gonna finish everything else until then like uh i think i only have like smgs uh, a few specific lmg camo challenges left like the um what's it called the bullet penetration kills by the way if you're doing those those suck right you guys know if you're if you're doing those right now you guys know those are annoying to accomplish but anyway that's that's enough about the whole camo grind but let me know what you guys are out of on 36 uh if you guys are working on the camo grind what else do you have to do left um like i said pretty much just uh, finishing off some subs uh some pistols i gotta level up a few snipers and that might be it i finished assault rifles and shotguns pretty much about to be done with marksman rifles as well battle rifles are pretty much done so yeah i'm pretty much working my way through it doing pretty good but uh yeah today we're going to talk about black cell um this is going to be a spicy video for long-term fans of the channel because you know you guys know that i've not really been the biggest fan of black cell recently especially since it's it's released i never really thought it was worth it but today we're going to take a deeper look into it specifically this year so if you're interested feel free to leave a like subscribe if you're new and yeah let's get into it all right so right off the bat i'm just going to show some of the new stuff there was a new content that season one's going to be dropping with today when you guys are watching this uh we got some mastercraft weapons let's show some pictures right now uh we got some new operator skins it's looking really good uh obviously some weapon blueprints and stuff like that as well and then yeah season one's dropping today basically when you guys are watching this it should be it should be dropped by now yeah it, but when this whenever this video goes up uh we also got some bundles for like the boys um yeah, there's the, that stuff, some season one bundles, and then a season one tier operator skin. But here, I'm gonna flash the black cell screenshot here. This is, I believe, is there even a price? Hold on, I don't I don't see a price here. I'm pretty sure it's $30, but it doesn't say right now. Anyway, here we go, black cell, the new operator's called Abolisher. As you can tell, it looks very, very fancy, very good. Uh, a new weapon blueprint, which looks really nice as well. 10 operator skins. Uh, let's see, we got a finishing move, a th 1,100 COD points, a battle pass, and 20 tier skips, six weapon blueprints, and a vehicle skin. And this is also included in the Vault Edition. This is a value over 7,000 COD points. And so let's go ahead and break it down. Do we think this is worth it? Do we think it's good? Obviously, before I start, it's all subjective, right? This, for instance, the operator skin could be worth like 50 bucks to one person, it could be worth like two bucks to another person, right? It's all subjective. Me personally, uh, I'm gonna take a look at it again. I think the operator skin's probably worth like between like five and eight bucks. So let's just say eight for the sake of it, okay? Let's say it's eight dollars worth. The weapon blueprint, I don't think it's worth much. Maybe like three to four bucks. So what are we at? Twelve dollars now. Ten operator skins. Again, don't think it's worth much, but for the sake of it, we'll say it's like worth like eight bucks. Um, so that brings up up to, to like twenty-ish. The finishing move is worth nothing. The eleven hundred cod points. I don't. Oh, let's say it's worth ten bucks. Okay, that's thirty bucks. The battle pass and tier skips, I don't think a tier skip is worth a dollar, so we'll say it's worth half a dollar, so another 10 bucks, that brings us up to what, 40 bucks? And then the six weapon blueprints, maybe like five bucks, and the vehicle skin's worth nothing. So altogether, on paper, in my head, this should be worth about $45. Again, I don't know for sure. I'm gonna look in the comments. I'm pretty sure it should be worth $30, or it says it's worth $30. I don't think it's a terrible deal. Now, before I get roasted in the comment section for saying, you know, the opposite in the previous Call of Duty games, I don't think it was a bad deal back then either. What I thought was atrocious was how little actual content we were getting, considering how much they're trying to, you know, nickel and dime us now. And basically what I mean by that is you like I showed you the season one roadmap last or uh, yesterday's video. If you missed it, go check it out. But basically why are we paying you know so much for this brand new game when they're gonna drop shoot house and shipment as new content right basically that content is quote unquote free even though we like paid for it in game this time we're getting three brand new maps 
um, as well as so much other stuff, right? I showed you the roadmap for Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 uh, in yesterday's video and previous videos as well. And it's night and day, right? They're giving us actual content, actually good stuff. My thought process, and again, you can disagree with me. You don't have to agree with me, obviously, but my thought process is to reward them when they're doing something good. Does this mean I'm going to get Black Cell? Maybe. I, I might get it. I'm not saying I'm like a thousand percent set on getting it. I'm just, I'm considering it at the moment. Okay, I'm considering getting it. Um, maybe, you know, maybe it's worth it. Maybe, you know, I don't know. It's, it's never really worth it at the end of the day because, you know, Activision doesn't need more money and I can play this game without it. But, you know, why not support them in this way, right? Like, I think a lot of the decisions they've been making are good. Um, and so I don't know, maybe I should support them. Maybe I should reward them. Right. Because like if, if I don't, if other people don't, then they're going to think like, oh, community doesn't care or whatever. And sure we can, you can make the argument. Oh, like let's just keep holding out. Just don't buy it. Keep complaining about skill-based matchmaking till they address it and keep complaining about like the prices till they lower it, blah, blah, blah. We can keep complaining about this stuff. I do think that the price is still kind of high, even though I quoted it at about worth like 40 to $45. I still think it, it it shouldn't be worth 30, you know what I mean? Like 30 is just a lot for a full price game already. And for a lot of people out there, and me included, I mean, I'm not saying I'm rich or anything, but yeah, $30 for like a DLC for in-game content is a lot. Um, if you want to equate it to like, you're paying for like the map packs, because the map packs are technically free, and then you get this like on top of it, I guess that's fine, but you're paying for like a live service model, and that's kind of what Call of Duty's transitioned into. Um, and so you, in reality, you shouldn't need to pay for this extra stuff, but I don't know, man, Call of Duty Mono for three has done pretty well for me so far. It's, it's been fun. Um, I honestly, you know, now thinking about it, I'm thinking more towards not getting it just yet and trying to, and maybe just saving up for like, maybe like a bundle that I really like or a, um, what's it called? Uh, a, a tracer pack, something like that. I've never really gotten a tracer pack in Call of Duty before, but they've always seemed cool. They've always seemed fun. Uh, obviously they're not realistic, but it just gives that extra like spice, I guess, to Call of Duty that, you know, it kind of makes it different, you know, and it, I don't know. It's, you don't really need to get that either. But like I said, I don't know. I feel like I've, I feel like I should be supporting Sledgehammer games in this way because they're listening to the community. They're making gameplay changes that I like. They're adding enough content to the game that I like. So it's kind of like, why, why am I not supporting it? You know, that's, I don't know. That's just my opinion. You know, I paid full price for this game. And so it's like, yeah, you can make an argument like, oh, if you paid full price, why are you paying for extra stuff? You don't need it. But you can make that argument for how everyone spends their money, right? I'm not telling you to not buy it, I'm not telling you to buy it as well, but if you do like the game, I don't think there's an issue with buying it. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, I know a lot of people are gonna say, you know, come at me in the comments and be like, oh, like last year you said not to buy it. You said people who bought it were idiots. And that was mainly because I hated the game with a passion. And for people who hated the game with a passion and were okay with like lackluster, minimal, minimal content, then by all means, go ahead and spend money on this. But I know Call of Duty can do better. I know Call of Duty can still do better, even though even then this year. Uh, but I think that they are doing better so far. And so maybe I won't buy the full black cell, but maybe I'll buy like a small bundle here and there. You know, maybe I'll be like, hey, you know what? You're doing good. Here's a little bit of, uh, you know, seed money, you know, keep it up. And if you keep doing better and better, maybe I'll actually buy the bundle. Maybe I'll buy a uh, black cell. Maybe I'll buy, you know, this or that. And maybe I'll play the game longer because so far, I'm not even kidding you guys. I probably have very close to as much in-game time as I've have on Modern for 2 already. And it, the game's been out for a month, okay? That just goes to show how little I played that game and how much I'm playing this game and how much more I'm enjoying this game. So yeah, again, if I'm enjoying it so much, why not support it as much? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I think, you know? Um, I can't see myself quitting this game anytime soon, you know? Maybe when season content is like too slow or something like that, but as, as of right now, I can't see it. So that's it for the video. Again, not for sure buying it, but don't be surprised if one day you do see it like on my character or something. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace. Thanks so much for watching and peace.